Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, um, April 29th, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I got some happy mail today, so I thought I'd hop on here and share it with you guys so that I could put it where it goes because it's a few different things that go different places. Anyways, I'm in Jesse's room. That's why the curtain has monster trucks on it. Uh, I made this curtain. And I only had enough material to make one, so it's only one panel. <laughs> um, I need to get some more of that fabric if I can find it, but it's, it's a couple years old. So I bought it on clearance, so it's probably not being made anymore. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's cute. So I'm coming in here because the, both the kids are in the living room. And um, I can't record any of my usual spots because it's loud. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to... I got the door open too, so you might hear them. Because June is asleep, but I wanted to be able to hear her if she wakes up. But I'll start with a card. I got a really cute Mother's Day card from Kelly. And she she lives in uh, Georgia. She also has a channel that's called Crochet Ma for Life. And it came in a pink envelope, which I love. Because <laughs> it's pink. But it's, I thought it was so sweet that she sent me a Mother's Day card. It says, um, God didn't allow for any shortcuts when it comes to being a great mom. From the very start, we are all in. Our time and treasure are all in. And our hearts are definitely all in. And the inside part. <laughs> it says, you are definitely one incredible mom. With an incredible heart for your family, you deserve not only a round of applause, but a whole day to be spoiled with love. Hope you are blessed in an amazing way on Mother's Day. And then there's a personal note. Oh, that was so sweet. Thank you so much, Kelly. That definitely brightened my day when I opened that and read it. And it's pink, which I love. And these flowers, the roses are so pretty. That's my card. I have nowhere to sit it. I didn't think this through. Jesse's room is a mess. I'm just gonna have to lay it in the floor. Okay, and then I got a, a package from Seta, which I was, wasn't was expecting. It was really cool. But I love her notepad that she has. That's got her little logo on it. But she just sent this um, a gift for June. So that was cute. Let me throw that down there. <laughs> this is so cute that she made. It's one of the rainbows like I made recently for my sister. But she made it all pink. And it's got these pretty wooden beads hanging from it. So it's all like a baby pink. And it's got wire in it. She put wire like around the last row to, you know, make it lay the way it's supposed to. And it's to hang up. So pretty. I think this is a cotton yarn. It feels like cotton yarn. But it's a pretty baby pink. And it's so cute. I just heard my baby. Put that down there. She also sent a little organza bag with her, with teas and um, that lemon stuff that she always uses. I forgot what it's called. True Lemon. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I got Twinings, uh, Gout Ire Ire or something. I can't read it. <laughs> and Stash White Peach Oolong. And then two of the True Lemons. And a cute organza bag, which I will reuse. June's making noises. So that's from Seta. And then the last package I got was from Yarn from Carol. Um, she's in Ohio. She wrote me a note too. But she sent me a box with five Red Heart Super Saver Retro Stripes. I was so excited to get it. I can't wait to use it. But it is, um, it's a number four worsted. Uh, 236 yards each. It's a beautiful color. Oh, I'm so excited. So I got five skeins now. I was super excited. I hear her. I'll be in there in just a second. So I was super excited to get that yarn. And I can't wait to use it. Baby's crying, so I'm gonna have to hop off here and um, go see what she needs. But thank you all so much for the happy mail, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.